Now I'd like to show you how you can work with a device such as a dual op amp that has multiple internal devices. To begin with, I will place the TL072. This is an op amp created by Texas Instruments. And looking for the version that has the P at the end, TL072CP, P for plastic package. So I pick the A component. I, I could pick a new one, or I could pick the B component of the same package U1. This being a dual device, I have actually a single component U1 with two active devices internally. So we have the A device and the B device. You'll notice that the pin numbers are different for the same type of terminals, in that case the non-inverting input. Now when you power the device you'll notice that as soon as you've powered one pin 8 then the other pin 8 shows up with a little red X, meaning don't connect anything more there. Physically, you only have one VCC and one VEE pin. Both devices get these uh, internally, so you do not uh, make the attempt to connect both of these to their distinct power. Now here I did a copy and paste, and you'll notice that I'm getting now a second package, that's U2, with the B component. Now supposing I wanted to place a fourth device, but I didn't really mean to get a third package set up here. So I can say replace components, and then I need to pick the A device. All right, so U3, I don't really want a new package here. What I really wanted was U2, device A. Now we're back to pin 3 for the non-inverting input. 